everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a DIY stress ball. If you are new to my channel, make, be sure to click that subscribe button, the thumbs up, and the little bell. So, first, we're going to be needing some slime, balloon, and a little elastic that is plastic. Oh, that rhymes. So, how you can make slime is tied, glue, food coloring if you want. That, that is optional. So first we're going to stretch in our balloon to make it easier to fit our slime. And the sticky slime will be way, way, way harder. So we're going to take little pieces at a time and just pop them in there like so. This part is the hardest part, I believe, getting it into the balloon. So it might not go down all the way, but don't worry. The more you add, the more it will be pushed down. Oh, too much. So, yeah. So we're just going to add in our slime. So it's, when you see that's like a little lump in there, that's where it's lodged for now. But the more you add, like I said earlier, the more it'll push down have a big batch of slime that you're using and your balloon doesn't fit at all, don't worry. You don't need to use all of it. It's, it's fine to have a bit of some extra slime. So you can still play with the slime and have a stress ball. Double reaction. <laughs> okay, so we're going to just shove all that in there. So if you really want it down there, just stick your middle finger like that, so it's down there. It may not be fully down there, but it's closer now that we've squished it all. If you feel more comfortable doing little pieces, like way little, then you do that. And like I was saying before, you make your slime with Tide and glue. The Tide, Tide is um, a liquid laundry detergent. Tide also can come in, um, like, not liquid. But I would prefer to use the liquid detergent. It's easier. And it works more fluently. If your slime is a color, a different color than your balloon, it can be color changing. Mine is, I doubt it's going to be color changing because my slime is lighter than the balloon, but we don't know, right? We'll have to find out when we're done. This part can take a little bit, but it's pretty fun once you know what you're about to get. A super fun stress ball. So, oh my goodness. Okay, and if you don't want to get slime on your table or your surface, you can have a mat. I have a mat here on my table or desk. If you know another way to make slime that you'd prefer, you can use whatever slime. You can use whatever you want, really. You can use clay inside of here, Play-Doh, Model Magic clay. That would be cool. I think the more dry the thing that you're adding, it's going to be easier to stuff in here. It might take quicker. But like I said before, once you're done, it's really nice. I'm just going to activate this a little bit to make it easier to get in my balloon. And I think I can try something. Try rolling out your slime like this and putting it in in little pieces like that might be easier. Whatever works for you to get it in, you do that. So, once you've, I think that's enough. 
Once you've got it, just stick your finger in and get all of that that's in the tube down there. Maybe a little bit more. Sophia cannot decide. Okay, that should be good. Plenty in there. So now this is where your little elastic comes in. So you're going to tie right here. So you're going to go across and over as many times as you... Really? Did that just break? Okay. Other way to do it. Tie the balloon like this. Tying the balloon probably will work better. So now you got your cool slimy spritz ball. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. See you next time, and in the comments leave below how your stress ball worked. And in the next video I will give shoutouts whoever gives me nice comments. Bye, have a nice day!